So you just got back from taking some beautiful landscape photos. The only problem is there's a bunch of people in your images. Well, today we're gonna to show you an incredibly fast method for removing all of them. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and today I'm gonna to show you my favorite new method for generative fill in Photoshop. So we're starting with our first landscape image, beautiful, but here's some people hanging around, taking pictures. Now, I wanna use generative fill to remove them. So we need a selection first. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my lasso tool, L for the lasso tool. Now, in this case, this is pretty easy to do. We're just gonna lasso tool around our people here. We're gonna hold shift and we're gonna get those people there. I'm gonna hold shift to get those people there and scroll right down there and we're gonna just select those people as well. There's not a ton of people in this photo. We're gonna go right to generative fill in our contextual taskbar. You don't have to type in anything here. Just click on generate. Boom, you can see it's working for us. And in just a couple seconds, all these people are gonna be gone. And there we go. Everyone is gone. We have a few different variations and our landscape photo looks great. Now that's totally cool. We didn't have a lot of people to select. So using a lasso tool wasn't that big of a deal. But what happens if we have a lot more people? It's gonna get really tedious to lasso tool everyone out. So here's my suggestion on the fastest way to remove a bunch of people. So here's our second image. And again, all of these people, I don't wanna to try to lasso everyone out. Look at way up there. This is gonna take me forever. Here's a faster way to do it. We're gonna start by going into our quick mask mode. You can click on this icon right down here in the bottom of your toolbar, or you can hit Q for your quick mask mode. Then we're gonna use our brush tool, B for the brush tool. Wanna to make sure that your opacity and your flow is set to 100%. Now, basically all you have to do is just paint over anything that you want to remove, okay? No more lasso tool, no more selections. We're in quick mask mode, which means that everywhere I paint will actually become a selection once I get out of quick mask mode. So this is basically, you don't even have to be that accurate with your painting if we're being honest. There we go. Everything that I paint over in this case, once we get out of quick mask mode will be a selection and then we're ready for artificial intelligence. So you can see this is working way faster. I'm not having to use any selection tools. Basically I'm just painting the brush and I'm using the trackpad on my computer. So, you know, you don't have to have any special fancy tools with this. You can see it's incredibly quick. All right, there we go. Let's remove you. Let's remove you. <laughs> All this stuff in the background. Let's remove you too. All right, we just got a couple more people to do. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, you make sure to include people's shadows and whatever that is. This dude fishing, looking good, my man. All right, almost done. You can see, I tried to choose like a pretty complicated example with a ton of people just to show you how fast this technique can be. All right, and even those people down here in the corner. Cool, so now that we've painted, oh, oops, <laughs> now that we've painted basically over everyone, look at all this painting here. All we have to do is hit Q or right over here, get out of quick mask mode. And you can see that this is now a selection. Everything that I painted is now a selection. But it works the opposite of what you would think. It actually selects the opposite of where you paint. So super crucial, Step here, you gotta go to this icon right over here to inverse your selection. Go ahead and click there and just make sure that you don't have a selection around the edge of your image. That's gonna mean that your actual objects are selected. Okay, so this is how it comes by default. You're gonna see the selection around your edge. Make sure you click on this icon here, which is just gonna select the areas you actually painted. Boom, now that they're painted, go ahead and click on generative fill, click on generate. And as we can see, it's going basically making a selection of everywhere I painted, it's gonna blanket select and remove all of these people in one go. Boom, look at that. Did that in real time, everyone's gone. And in our beautiful, beautiful landscape photo, we can go ahead and still do the before and the after. Everyone is gone using artificial intelligence and in this extremely fast method of people removal. So the fastest method again, Q for quick mask mode, go ahead and paint over everything you wanna remove. Hit Q again, which is gonna turn those paintings into a selection. Make sure to click on that inverse icon, super, super important. Then hit generative fill and you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give us a big thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. We'll send you more free tutorials. Thanks again, I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.